postgres database is widely used open source relational database system you can connect postgres with any programming language as long as there are connectors available or the drivers available for a software engineer it is very important to know how to install how to connect how to manage postgres running on local machine as well as at the servers you also need to know how you can manage postgres through a postgres uh, administration tool such as pg admin and you from command line so if your objective is to learn how to manage postgres various versions of postgres running in the same machine and have ability to connect and manage them through command line as well as a tool such as postgres admin this tutorial is for you in this tutorial we are going to learn installation of postgres in docker containers multiple versions running side by side we will also learn a command line management as well as the connect connection to this postgres running side by side using postgres admin, admin tool and a few tips and tricks to make sure that you have sufficient knowledge to manage different versions of postgres effectively so let's get started here i already have one script with details ready for you to follow you could get the script from the information section about this video first thing you need the docker desktop here you can download docker desktop for your operating system whether it's a windows linux or mac once you have docker installed make sure that you do have the docker and docker compose both working for you next you need to have the pg admin installed which is the postgres admin tool that is also freely available tool which you could download for your operating system so that's the script these are the tools you need to have it so let's verify that we have docker and postgres admin working in this machine so let's go to command line and verify that docker and docker compose are working here we have docker dash v so we have docker working docker compose docker compose so we have both of them are working next step is to start the pg admin tool pg admin let's launch it so pg admin is starting once this server will be ready it will be available on this web browser so now you see that postgres admin is working and we do not have any of the server configured to be connected with pg admin docker desktop dashboard also running here let's come back to our script here you could see that we already have the docker uh, script for postgres version 12.x available in this script we have very quick script version related with docker compose the database name we have here database username and the password and which port this database is supposed to run and the data related with this database should be stored in this volume so very small script we have and this should be stored in a file called docker compose.yml so we will have that available here so you see here that we already have a folder called pgdb version 12 and here i already have the docker compose yml available as it is so we need to just say hey docker compose up so docker compose is going to read this docker compose.yml and start this process at this time if you haven't downloaded the image you will see some messages that image is really being downloaded in my case i already have the image downloaded in my machine so in this uh, docker compose a process the top the existing image is being started here you could see that image postgres is started 
and 5432 port is used to run here looks like data space system is up and running at this time we will look into our docker container and we will see that postgres is running and here we have a status available for postgres to be running at this point if you close this terminal window and you will see that postgres 12 has been stopped so there is option you have that you can start that postgres again but if we have the desktop we can just launch it directly from here so postgres is started you really do not need to have this command line window open much easier way for us to work with you can always check the postgres status if when you come here you can inspect here you can say that postgres password is this postgres database name is that user is that it's running on 5432 and it looks like everything is okay for us to connect this postgres with our pg admin tool we already have server configurations we will go we will create create a server we will call it lo local host pgdb12 so postgres db 12 we have running we can set up connection is local host is 5432 here you see the data base name is docker pgdb username is abc user okay so docker pgdb username is abc user and password is uppercase p a w s w o r d and we can save this password and we can say save it at this point you will see that our server connection is ready here is the database here is the schema and list of tables if there are tables there should be tables but right now it's just a newly created database and there are no tables if you want to make the queries related with this database you can go to tools and query tools and here you can make query let's come back here we can make this uh, command so you see here that once we run this docker compose up our docker container related with postgres version 12 is started and we have connected that postgres with our postgres admin version 4 web based tool if we want to test it we have ability to test it so how we could do it so there are a couple of ways we could do so there is a one option is that we can check version here in this script so we can say select version run here and if you run this here you will see that it, it tells that this is running a postgres version 12.3 one option you have second option you can use this uh, docker you can see where the docker container is running and you can access the docker container directly from its command line so if i will launch it you will see that it's open a new tab and the docker is started uh, the connection to this container so we could access it directly from command line prompt so here you could see that i do have a post psql i can look into the what is psql version so it tells us that hey there is a psql version 12 is running here and if you we want to connect to the database we can actually connect directly from here so we can say psql we are connecting to the database and database name is docker pgdb and the username is uppercase u abc user and here you could see that we have connected to the database and now we are accessing this docker pgdb if we do the same command here version and here you could see exact same answer is there you can run any database sql command here related with your database so we have successfully installed pgdb version 12 database in this docker container and we are accessing it let's start the postgres version 14 in the docker environment we already have this script here you could see that the difference is in image version and the version of the docker compose so we are using 3.9 here and then we are using image version for postgres is 14 and the database name is pg14 db and rest of the information is the same we will come back to the command line 
if you go to here you could see that i already have the docker compose script okay let's go to bgdb 14 docker compose here we have 5432 5432 so wherever this port is running in the container your local image that has to be open at the host image so this is the host, host image port let's try to do the docker docker compose up let's run it and let's see what happens here you could see very quickly that hey it's trying to say that hey i'm trying to bind the container port to the host port but host port is already occupied here and that is very true because the checking into this here we could say that definitely the host port is 5432 is already occupied so it means we cannot use that port so the option we have is to use a different port so let's try to edit it and we will say that okay rather than using 5432 use the port 5439 but the image port with the container port that is still be 5432 should be okay here and just to make sure docker compose we have everything right the rest of the information is same docker compose up let's start it and everything looks okay here here you could see that internally the postgres is still running on 5432 but in the host image it's a 5439 it's already started we can look into here port okay let's take a look at inspection here you could see that okay 5439 5439 which is exactly similar to if you look into here and say let's inspect here 5432 5432 so at the host level the ports are different rest of the information is the same we will just exit here and the database is stopped we can turn it on here now we can look into its own command line so here is the command line internally to the container for the postgres for postgres 12 here we can do exactly the same we can say psql what is the version it's a 14 psql the database is pg 14 db as defined in the user is abc user here exact same thing and we can say select version and here you would see that this is a 14 version so we have both 12 and 14 version are running successfully port everything is clear and we come back to pg admin and connect that database we already have pg db12 connected we will add another server we will call it localhost pg db 14 connection it's a local host but the port is 39 let's use a 32 what happens the database is pg 14 db user is abc user and the password is password let's save it connected what's going to happen at this time what is happening is that we are asking this postgres admin to connect to localhost at 5432 with the database name is pg 14 db and actually it's really trying to connect at this as the previous words where the 5432 is really being rendered and it knows that there is no pg 14 db database so if we try to say 5439 which is exactly the same port which we have got from here just to make sure everybody understand i'm double checking 5439 we can come back here 5439 and connect here and there you go we have both five postgres 14 and postgres 12 running side by side in docker and we can actually pretty much do same query you need to remember is that this tab is for postgres 12 this tab is for postgres 14 and you can do exact same thing select version and when you run it you will get version so this is how you are going to run two separate version of postgres in docker and you can access them with postgres admin successfully 
And the good thing is that whenever you want to erase them, it's a very easy to just remove very quickly. You can stop them. They are not going to use any of your memory. This is a very clean way to have multiple instances of Postgres database with the different versions running in a single machine and you can add manage them as needed. So the tutorial is completed and let's have a quick recap. We started with Postgres installation in Dockrise container. We used both Postgres 12 and Postgres 14 running simultaneously while connecting them through command line as well as through Postgres admin tool. We also learned how to avoid the port conflict for the host machine while the Postgres is running successfully on two different Dockrise containers. We also checked that how you can see and manage running Postgres in Docker environment and validate their configuration. We also saw that how you can use command line as well as Postgres admin tool side by side to manage your Postgres instances successfully. Finally, we learn how easy it is to run various versions of Postgres simultaneously in Dockrise container environment. That's all my friends. If you have enjoyed our content, please like it, share it, subscribe it. And finally, please remember, be good and do good. Thank you.